Hi, I'm Jamie and welcome to Glowing Beauty Addiction or welcome back if you're one of my subscribers. Today I'm going to be discussing my Sally Beauty Haul that I just recently did. I have to be honest, I had not been to Sally's. I'd been there one other time to get some hair color, but I did not realize that they sold makeup. So you learn something new every day. So the items that I got was this Fairy Nudes Fresh Glow Face and Eye Highlighting Palette by Colab. And I haven't even opened any of these. I just kind of went there as a quick uh, time waster the other day with my, my youngest son. Ooh, those look very, very nice. Very nice. That. I also picked up, because it was on clearance, a Femme Couture Mineral Effects Baked Cake Eyeliner in navy. And it was reduced to $2.79, which can't pass up trying that. Another item that was reduced to the $2.79 was this Femme Couture Ultra Smooth Gel Eyeliner in metallic silver. Don't mind my Mother's Day manicure. My son still wants to, to look at them all the time, so I can't bring myself to take, take it off yet. I also got another $2.79. Femme Couture Ultra Smooth Gel Eyeliner in Metallic Black. I love gel eyeliners. I've never tried one of these baked types before, so that'll be interesting. I got a Color Drench Liquid Lipstick from Femme Couture. It was on sale for $6.29. And the color is... The Perfect Crimson. I got, oh, and these all go together. These were the Palladio. Maybe they don't all go together. I got the Palladio Island Vibes. This one is in Paradise. got the other one which is in Cabana some cooler colors and then I got all three of the Palladio and Casey Holmes, Holmes lip liquid lipsticks decided to start to rain right now which we definitely need it yay so the colors are rescue obsessed and Georgia so I was kind of excited to try those also if you're interested in this look today I have to say I'm kind of impressed I got ready this morning it would have been around 9 a.m. it is 2 37 right now and I have not touched up anything I've been out running errands so if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram I gave all the details of this look but I believe I used my Bambaline foundation Gerard cosmetics brows to go I used the Dominique cosmetics eyeshadow my Revlon lashes that I love so much uh, profusion contour Oh, Gerard Cosmetics, um, Share Lip Liner and Lipstick. Like, I have eaten, I had poutine, because I'm Canadian. I've had a couple beers, and I have not touched anything up. I also used the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray in Cucumber. 
the highlight was Makeup Geek. So I have to say, I'm kind of impressed with how well this is worn, considering I've been to a animal shelter today, I went and got groceries, I've been on the go since 9 o'clock this morning. But anyway, I'm going to cut the video right here, and I will zoom you all a little bit closer so that I can show you some swatches of these things. So I'll be right back. So here are the swatches of the lip colors. On the top, we have Georgia. Second, we have Obsessed. Third, this beautiful mauve color is Rescue. And the bottom color is the Perfect Crimson. They've all went on really nicely, although this crimson, whoops, where is it? Seems, I don't know, a bit patchy. I'm not sure if you can tell with this light. It's not really wanting to dry down. It's not as opaque as I would like, but they do seem good. I'm especially loving this and, where am I at? This color. I promise once my son quits asking about my nails, I will redo my manicure. But there are those. Okay, so let me get this lined up here. These colors are not really impressing me so far. I put them on in the same order as the palette. And you can see that there are quite a few shades that are just not, not showing up at all. And this was the Cabana palette. So I'll have to try to create some looks and see if this works out better than what it looks like it's going to. So now for the Paradise palette. Some of these colors actually look a lot better than the previous palette. And I did the swatches exactly the same, but these definitely look like they'll be a little bit more workable. And these ones did seem a lot smoother and nicer than the other palette. So again, I'm gonna have to create some looks and see what the final verdict is on this palette. So here are the eyeliners and the highlighters. And I must say the top two highlighters are smooth and amazing. The bottom two are great, but there is a lot of chunky glitter in them, so I'm not sure how they're gonna translate on skin, but I will definitely do a look and let you know. So those were the items that I got at Sally Beauty here in town. I will do a look very shortly with these products and let you know how they worked. I do have a few other bags and um, items and hauls to unpack. And maybe once I get everything unpacked, I'll actually have enough to do a full face so I can do a get ready with me. But if you like these haul type videos, please let me know. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let all your friends know. Um, yeah, I enjoy doing this so much and I'm so glad that you chose to spend some time with me. And until next time, I love you all so much. Bye.